Hello there, and for those of you who don't know me, my name is Bond, James Bond. I'm a health and fitness expert working to improve the quality of life for people who are overweight. Now today I'm talking about a topic that is completely off topic, and that is the FA disciplinary charge against Mario Balotelli, the Liverpool FC striker. He's made some comments which have been deemed to be offensive against people of ethnic minorities. Now, I'm an ethnic minority myself. I'm a second generation Asian. If you don't know what a second generation Asian is, that means I was born and raised in the UK. Now, I just want to say one thing, and I must declare a conflict of interest here. I support Liverpool FC uh, with all my heart and soul. But as a second generation Asian, I have to say, I found this com comments outrageously and highly hilarious. They are not in any way racist, they are not in any way objectionable. Okay, they are hilarious, and I can think of many e ethnic minority people who will be cracking up laughing watching them. Okay, now the thing here is if you want to see a precedent about this, go to your local pub at a weekend. It all revolves around the ability to take a joke and have a sense of humour. That's all it is. The ability to take a joke and have a sense of humour. Now the thing about the FA is, haven't they got better things to do? I mean, come on. I mean, there are some other issues in football that need looking at. For example, okay, the FA disciplinary system is in breach of Article 6. And in case you don't know what that is, under Article 6 of the Human Rights Act, you have the right to an independent, impartial tribunal established by law. You cannot have a situation legally where one body receives the complaint, investigates the complaint, and prosecutes it in front of its own panel. That is completely in, in breach of Article 6. So I'm amazed that, the, um, that this has been allowed to continue. It's a complete farce. The other thing is, the, uh, why don't the FA concentrate on more serious issues? For example, last season, Manchester City were found guilty of breach of UEFA rules. And as a result of that, they were fined a paltry sum of £50 million pounds or thereabouts. But amazingly, the FA took no action. Okay. Now, my own view is that a couple of years ago, Tottenham Hotspur Football Club admitted to financial irregularities. And what happened? The FA docked them points. Well, why haven't they done that to Manchester City? I just don't know. There's a double standard here. I personally think Manchester City should have their point, have points docked and be stripped of their 2013-2014 Premier League title. It's basically as simple as that. But I doubt the FA will do anything about it. Personally, I think the FA have got more important things to deal with and they're just not dealing with them. And that's the reason why football really needs some help. My name's Bond, James Bond, leaving you shaken but not stirred. Bye-bye.